Hello everyone. Today we will be working with negative space. Um, so for a quick definition, negative space is the space around or between the subject or subjects of your image. So for an example, I'm going to bring this over here. You can see we have a lovely flower here and we have a lot of um, pieces that we can name. So you have flower, you have bud, you have stem, you have leaf. All of these areas um, with names, those are the positive space. Now in addition to the positive space, we also have things, um, different spaces and areas that don't necessarily have names. So a space such as this, or this, or this up in here, all of these areas that we can't necessarily name, everything that is not the subject um, is the negative space. And that's what we're working with today. So for this exercise, what you will need, a piece of paper, just a regular piece of sketching paper. This is just an exercise. You don't need to hang this on your wall. We don't need anything fancy. Some kind of drawing material. I, of course, love my willow charcoal. Um, if you would prefer to use just a regular pencil, you definitely can. I would maybe go for something that's a little softer lead. So something like a 4H, or nope, not 4H, maybe 4B, 2B, 6B, something in the Bs. Um, and then an eraser. You'll probably want an eraser. Lastly, what you will need is an image of a chair. So here I have an example. This is what our piece is going to look like when we're, when we're finished with it. So you can see we're doing, we, we are um, technically drawing the negative space. So we're filling in all these spaces and shapes around the chair. But in doing so, of course, then the chair, the chair kind of shows itself. So you'll need a, an image of a chair. I printed these offline. Um, if you have a nice looking chair in your home, you can definitely do this from life, looking at, at, a, at a real life chair. For today's um, video, it'll just be easier if I have a picture to work from. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I want you to do is try to get into the right mindset. So again, we're not drawing the chair, we're drawing the negative space. We are thinking about those abstract little spaces and shapes around the chair. This is going to be the hardest part of the exercise is trying to shift that perspective. It's the hardest part, but it's also the most important part. Um, and that, that's what this whole exercise is about. It's about challenging our um, preconceptions. Um, so by, we just need to forget that this is a chair. We're not drawing a chair anymore. We're drawing, uh, in this case, we're drawing a series of little rectangles and shapes. All right, so I like to start kind of towards the middle of your subject. So I'm gonna start with this, um, this little uh, square-ish shape in here. And all you do, Take a nice calming breath, look at that shape, and as precisely as you can, copy that shape. Not taking for granted, you know, its, its angles and its lines. I'm just gonna clean this piece up here a little bit. And there we have first shape down. So we're, we're doing w well. Now I'm gonna move over to this one. You can you know choose where you'd like to move. This is, at this point, you know it's your drawing, it's up to you. I'm gonna shift right over here. So leaving what I feel like is an appropriate amount of space, I am going to draw our second shape. Once again, I can take my eraser and clean up lines as I see fit. So we move in this way from shape to shape. Now I'm going to jump down to this little space. It's okay to erase. Um, it's okay to make mistakes. Everybody does it. That's part of learning. That's part of why we're doing this exercise. So we get to 
make those mistakes um, and, and kind of learn how to see in a, in a situation that really is very low pressure. All right, now I'm shifting to this uh, section. I'm also going to say that um, I have done these, I have drawn these shapes many, many times. I've done, um, I've uh, demonstrated this exercise quite a bit, so it might seem to come a little bit more easily to me, and that's, it's honestly just practice. And the fact that I've done this specific image, you know, over and over again. All right, now I'm going to move to this big shape. Leave a space between shapes. We're just focusing on shapes. I don't want you to use words like, you know, leg and rung and seat and any of that stuff, even when you're sort of narrating in your head what you're doing. We need to let go of those things and just think about angles, you know, what angle is this line at? How long is this line? How big is that shape? I would say um, for yourself when you're planning on doing this exercise, I'd set aside a half an hour I'm going to, today I'm not going to take a half an hour to do this exercise just because you probably don't want to sit here for a half an hour and watch me draw this. Um, but for yourself, just so you feel like you have a good amount of time to really um, get sucked into this process, allow yourself a half hour. If you don't need the whole time, that's fine. If you need a little bit longer, that hopefully that's fine as well. All right, now all of these shapes are done and down here we're getting we're going to drop off into kind of a no man's land. So I'm going to leave this section for now and come back up to more defined shapes up here. So this is kind of a tricky part. I have to kind of eyeball how big this space is between you know, these bottom rectangles, and then what I get up here. The other thing you can think about is, is the relationship, the spatial relationship here. So this rectangle ends at the same point that this rectangle ends, which is at the same point that this rectangle ends. So these rectangles are all more or less in line. There's, there's a little bit of an angle, a little bit of adjustment, but more or less, they are in line. So, um, you know, this is a time when you can think about spatial relationships as well. Same kind of thing over here on this, on this side. These three rectangles are kind of in line with each other. All right, now I can jump up here a little bit. Okay, now at this point we can start to sort of tentatively think about chair again because we're going to have to fill in the outline. So I'm going to come back down here and kind of thinking about both positive and negative space at this point. I can think about, okay, what, what is this shape looking like? What is that supposed to look like? 
And what does that mean then for these chair legs? You know, where do they end? And if, um, you know, a, a 30 seconds ago it didn't look much like a chair to you, but now it's starting to take shape, you can start to see the chair coming through. It's kind of an exciting point in this exercise. Okay. And bring this leg down. Oh, that goes up a little bit and then over. And then we can come back down. Now, like I said, I'm not going to take forever really refining this. I could, I could definitely spend a lot more time working on, on this exercise and really refining my drawing. Um, but just for the sake of time, I won't. So for the sake of all your time, I won't. Um, and in any case, I already have a finished one right here that I can show you. So after you um, feel comfortable with your your outline i uh you can go ahead and fill it in fill in the negative space remember we're drawing the negative space and that is your exercise